Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwadwin.com and in this video, we will show you how to use any banking or payment app on your phone which is rooted via Magisk. So as you can see, I am using a Pixel 6a. It's currently rooted via Magisk and it has the latest Android 13 build and my phone is currently rooted. You can verify the same from the root checker app. Let me show you once. So my phone is currently rooted and I am trying to use the iMobile payment app from ICICI Bank and as you could see, as soon as I launch the app, it's saying my my device is rooted and they have stopped the mobile banking service on my phone. So in this video, we'll show you how you could bypass these limitations and restrictions from your phone and easily use any banking and payment app on your rooted phone. This steps are actually applicable across all the banking and payment app and across all the Android versions. So just to verify the status, I'm using a Yasnak app. You could install it from Play Store and tap on run 15 at the station. And as you could see currently, I am failing both the basic integrity and CTS profile match test. So this is the reason why I am not able to use any banking and payment app. So I will pass both this test and then hide the route from a few Google apps and then the banking app of my choice. And once that is done, we will then be able to use the banking app without any issues. So on that note, let's get started. Please take a backup of all the data on your phone just to be on a safer side. So first off, launch the Magisk app, then go to the settings menu. From here, tap on hide the Magisk app. You will now have to give it any name of your choice. For the sake of reference, I'll be renaming it to Droidwin. You could give it any name of your choice and tap OK. It will now start hiding the Magisk app and should only take a few seconds. So let's wait while that is happening. And it will now bring up a prompt to add to shortcut to home screen. It's completely optional. I don't want it, so I'm typing on cancel. And with this, our app is now hidden. And as you could see, there is no Magisk app. But instead of the Magisk app, we will now get the Droidwin app. So th th this will be our new Magisk app from now onwards in our case. So as you could see, it's the new Magisk app. So once that is done, you now have to install the systemless host module. So go to the settings menu on Magisk. From there, just tap on systemless host and the module will be added. So go back, go to the module section. And as you could see, the module has been added and enabled. Once that is done, you now have to enable Zygisk. So for that, go to the settings menu. From here, enable the toggle next to Zygisk. And it will ask you to restart your phone. We will not do a restart now. Rather, we'll first flash a module and then we'll do a restart just to save some time. So go back to my guide and from here we have done the first step of hiding the magisk. We have also enabled the host and we have also enabled Zygisk. So next up, you now have to download the safety net fix module. Make sure to download the new version, which is the mod version. Download the same and send it to your phone. If your phone is not visible on your PC, then just expand the notification section from here, charging this device. So select this and choose file transfer and your phone will be visible on your PC and then you could transfer the file to your phone. Once you have transferred the mod file, let's now flash this file via mod Magisk. So launch the Magisk app, which in my case is Droidwin and then go to the module section and tap on install from storage. Now you have to select the module. So let's select the safety net fix module. Make sure it's the mod version. So select it and it will now be flashed. Once then you could now reboot your phone. So tap on reboot and your phone should now boot to the OS with Zytus enabled and the module active. So we'll first verify the same and then we'll proceed ahead. Do keep in mind that the first boot up might take up a few additional seconds. That's completely normal. It's only for the first time usage from subsequent usage. It will not take that much time. Anyways, let's wait for the time frame and our phone should now boot to the OS within a few seconds. And once that is done, we'll now have to hide the route from a few Google apps and the banking apps and then we have to remove the data of those apps and then the task stands complete anyway let me now unlock my phone and let's now launch the magisk app so this is my magisk app so if i launch now and if i check out the section next to zygisk it's showing as yes so this means i just have been enabled likewise if i go to modules you could see that the safety and fixed module has been flashed and it's activated so once that is done you will now have to go to the magisk home page then tap on the settings icon and now tap on enforce deny list. Once you have enabled this, then tap on configure deny list. Once you are under the deny list section, you now have to hide the route from a few apps. So let me show you those apps. So the four apps are the four Google apps. These are the Google Play service, Google Play Store, Google Service Framework, and Google Play Product Service. So first off, let's hide the route from following four apps. So once you are under the deny list section, just a minute. Make sure to enable the toggle to enforce the deny list and then go to this deny list. Then tap on the workflow icon at the top right and check mark show system apps. Once that is done, let's now hide the route from the following four apps. First off is the play service. 
so let me search for that just a minute so check mark it and make sure to enable all its toggle not just one toggle but enable all the toggle as you will see so with this we are done with play service next is the play store so let's do that as well and again expand it and enable the toggle next to all its service after this is the google services framework so let's search for that services framework and it will be right here itself just a minute so this is the service framework app again expand it and enable the toggle next to all the services finally it's the google play protect service so let's search for that as well so expand it and enable the toggle next to all the services so with this we have enabled the toggle next to play service play store service framework and play product service so now we have hidden the root from all these four apps you will now have to hide the root from the, your banking and payment app of your choice so in my case it's the iMobile app let me search for the iMobile so expand your banking and payment app and now enable the toggle next to all the services as you could see the second one is the root direction service but still let's enable the toggle next to all these three services once that is done you will now have to remove the data of all these four apps so let's start off with the process to so go to the settings menu from settings menu go to apps then see all apps and check tap on the work icon at the top right and select show system so let's first remove the data of the play service just a minute select the play services then go to storage and cache section then tap on manage space and tap on clear all data then tap on ok next up it's the play store so let's search for the play store as well so let's now make a search for the play store so now go to google play store and go to storage and cache section tap on clear storage and tap on delete with this we have also removed the data now is the google service framework so search for the services framework app select it go to storage and cache and again tap on clear storage then delete and next up is the google play protect service so th this app might not be there on every android phone it's there on the google pixel series but it might not be there in your phone if it's not there then simply ignore it if it's there then remove the data from this app as well so let's search for that google play protect service go there storage and cache then tap on clear storage and tap on delete with this we have removed the data of all these four google app you now have to remove the data of the banking and payment app of your choice in our case it was the iMobile app so let me search for that so go to the, your app then go to its storage and cache section and tap on clear storage and tap on delete once that is done you will now have to restart your phone this restart is compulsory so please do a restart right now do keep in mind that all these steps are just for the one time usage from the subsequent usage you will not have to carry out these tasks you could easily retain root and re this tweak will be applicable across every ot and every update you will not lose this tweak after every android update so you just have to perform the OTA update as you do so on a normal rooted phone via the magic tweak and then you could retain this tweak without any issues so it will sustain and it will not go extinct with any android os upgrades it will remain on your phone until and unless you manually remove it so anyways let's now unlock our phone and first off i would like you to tell you something very important so if you now launch the magic app and if you now go to the denial list section let me show you so as you could see the google play protect the google play service is missing from the list and google service framework is unchecked it's just a ui bug and nothing to worry about in the backend everything is up and running so it's just a front end ui bug and you should ignore this bug so with that said first off let's launch the yasnak app and tap on run section adjustation and as you could see we will now be passing both the tests so as you could see we are now passing the basic integrity and the cts profile match test so with that done let's now launch the i mobile app and it should not throw any error as such simply allow allow just give me permission so let's just wait for the time frame and verify the result so as you could see we are now logged into the banking app and my phone is currently rooted just to verify the same this is my root rooted phone it's currently rooted via magis latest version and from the root checker app as well you could verify my phone is rooted and i'm able to use the app without any issue let me close this app and relaunch it once again so just to show you the tweak will now be sustained across every os update and you don't have to do anything so as you could see 
we could now use the banking and payment app without any issues. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.